It is described as a hospital within a hospital for COVID-19 patients. 21 COVID-19 positive patients are currently admitted into the COVID-19 ward at the KHMH. 10 of them are critically ill. Right now, I have 21 COVID positive patients. And of that 21, I want you to see the high number. 10%, I mean 50% of those patients, which is 10, is severely ill, meaning that we have five patients on a mechanical ventilator and five patients on a high flow. So these patients are in a stage where they need wrong the clock care. That is exactly the demand placed on these nurses and doctors inside the COVID unit. Nurse Casilda Bowman oversees the operation that seeks to give these patients a fighting chance against this deadly virus. Example for today, right now from 7.30 this morning, all my doctors, all my nurses are in, was in PP and still is in PP and nobody took a break from 7.30 this morning. Um, that, that just basically means nobody ate, nobody drinks any water, anybody gets to use the bathroom. The situation at the COVID-19 ward is dire. Our visit with Nurse Bowman was delayed because the moment we arrived at the ward, she was alerted that a critically ill patient needed to be placed on a ventilator. So today, for example, we had gotten two ventilated patients, two patients that are severely ill that needed mechanical ventilation. So they had to be induced, they had to be put on a machine. As soon as we are finished one ventilated patient, our next patient came in, was not breathing for three days, came in totally deteriorated, we had to rush to ventilate that person, all right? As soon as maybe 30 minutes after we ventilated that patient, our next patient started to crash. And we had to, that patient was on a high flow machine. And so the next progression was a mechanical ventilator. And so literally we were putting that patient on the ventilator just before you guys came. And as they finished that, I was told a pregnant lady is outside that is having respiratory distress, distress is outside. Up to the time we left the COVID-19 unit, no deaths were recorded for the day. But conditions can deteriorate rapidly, and within the blink of an eye, another life can be lost to this virus. To put things into perspective, as the number of cases across the country continued to increase over the last year, more Belizeans required hospitalization and critical care. The COVID-19 unit started with nine beds, and by necessity, it was expanded to include 14 additional beds within two additional rooms that were once designated for emergency services. Bear in mind, it's a lot of work. It was a lot of movement to move out our emergency department, and it was a lot of work to just recognizing. I mean, we couldn't have moved fast enough. The same day that we moved, we had to accommodate at least five patients that needed the room that we didn't have if we did not move emergency department. The increase in COVID-19 hospitalization is not only taking a toll on the nurses and doctors, it is also causing a delay in families receiving an update about the conditions of their loved ones. Bowman hopes that with a view of what is taking place inside, more Belizeans would understand the importance of getting vaccinated and following the COVID-19 protocols set out by the government. I would really want the public to understand if they see what we have to go through, what we have to see patients go through, how they're punishing, how they can't breed. If you don't want, it's not about the vaccine. If you don't want to take the vaccine, then do the right thing. You understand? Stay, try to stay home, try to do as much as possible. I mean, my thing is taking the vaccine won't hurt you. Nurse Bowman made a plea to get your loved ones to the hospital as soon as they begin to experience complications breeding because timing can be a matter of life and death. The general population needs to understand. Don't worry about how much beds we have. It is not your problem. It is our problem. If you are not feeling well, if you are having respiratory distress, come in so we can treat you in a timely fashion. All right? It, it, it helps us to help you better. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.